It's the violent side, the dark side, the uncontrollable side. We're quite anxious these days about where our food's coming from. Uh, <laughs> You, sir, how about a shame? Come and visit your good friend, Sweeney. You, sir, to sir, welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. I will have salvation. Johnny Depp has made a musical about the gore-flecked barber, Sweeney Todd. For his customers, every day was a bad hair day. For some analysis, we turn to our own musical stars, the Newsnight Singers, otherwise known as the Rockaholics, with apologies to all composers and indeed singers concerned. There's a barber's in the town, in the town, and there young Johnny sits them down, sits them down, and cuts their throats as icy as can be. I'll stick with this old to be. Johnny Depp kind of channels David Bowie. I know, I know You've been locked out of sight all these years It sounds very like David Bowie and his Cockney accent and um, it, it's, he's definitely channeling. It's like David Bowie singing Bertolt Brecht almost. I mean, I certainly would never have expected that kind of compliment to be even mentioned in the same breath as, as someone like David Bowie, and it certainly wasn't intentional. Your establishment is in Fleet Street, you say? Yes, sir. Then, Mr. Todd, you shall surely see me there before the week is out. You will be welcome, Beadle Bamford. And I can guarantee to give you without a penny's charge the closest shave you will ever know. It's a kind of Pearly King slasher movie. I think that's completely wrong. <laughs> I think you could, if you took it at face value as being a slasher movie and a kind of uh, cocknology uh, extravaganza, I don't think it is at all. Hang down your head, Tim Burton. Hang down your head and cry. One thing I know for certain, in your films they're all gonna die. It's just all part of the story, you know. When I first saw the stage production, that's what it was all about. And, you know, it's obviously very over the top and unrealistic, and that seemed to be part of the story. I actually had no qualms at all about the body count, to be honest. The only thing that really made me nervous uh, as an actor uh, doing the film was actually having to lather and shave grown men. <laughs> I've recently played Albert Pierpoint, in which I hanged 46 people within the, the phase of an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm used to knocking them off. <laughs> what is that? It's priest. Have a little priest. Is it really good? In the legend of Sweeney Todd, his victims are supposed to have ended up under the pastry of old London town. Some claim the film addresses our present ethical concerns. Who ate all the pies? We did, dear viewer. Now you see the trouble with poet is how do you know it's to see? Try the priest. Todd is a figure who represents uh, something of an atavistic force within each of us, but also within urban society as a whole. And we, we begin to wonder how, how to control things, and we begin to wonder about things like where our food supply is coming from. Much thicker, more like vicar. Then we'd ask to be grosser. It's great. I think the morbid humor sometimes doesn't come across. I think that's the weakness of the film. There's the famous song, A Little Priest, where Mrs. Lovett, who owns the, the pie shop, is sort of suggesting all the, how you could make pies out of different kinds of people, try a little priest, you know, how about a judge and all this kind of stuff. And in the theatre, that's always rather hilarious. In this, the humour isn't quite delivered by Johnny Depp. 
and Helena Bonham Carter. This is the story of Johnny and Tim And gallons of claret that poor Johnny's in It's all very gothic, there's lashings of coal It's soon in time for a change from it all <laughs> You know what, the scary thing is if Tim asked me to do a ballet, I would, <laughs> the, do, it. I would do it in a second. We joked about it, then all of a sudden we read that it was happening, you know? It was like, it was a real thing, so I know, we have to be careful of what we say. <laughs> I know, and apparently I'm doing a duet with Barry Manilow. <laughs> You're in a merry mood today, Mr. Sure delights are catching fire from one man to the next. Depp's given us a broad likeness of Keith Richard in other films, and as we've heard, some claim to hear Bowie in this latest performance. Now he fancies having a crack at the vocal stylings of a real showbiz legend. I like that, that guy, um, Brian Sewell, I like him. It's to do with satisfying some kind of inner urge. Uh, he, has a, he has a very interesting uh, approach. <laughs> Maybe he'd be next. <laughs> Johnny Depp's Barber film. It's something for the weekend, but it's not exactly happy and uplifting. I thought this was happy and uplifting. How about a shave? 